so we're interested in what I like to call perceptual perfection. The effort to find out what it is we can hear and to meet its needs in full or to find out at least what meeting needs in full would consist of. You know, what distortion, what dynamic range, how much can we reach below the hearing threshold in using sub-threshold components in, in understanding the world around us, uh, what kind of time resolution. Uh, very odd pieces of data. There have been a, a number of people who have observed one, with 192 kilohertz sampling that they find enormous difference in base response with different data recovery filters. Now these are, these are filters that uh, change the frequency response noticeably above 50 kilohertz. But uh, no noticeable change below that and yet the base response is changing. And uh, this seems totally impossible but something's there and something, something is incredibly important about time. Now when you look at what people do with loudspeakers, multiple loudspeakers, higher order crossovers, the average loudspeaker is making time into a pretzel. And many microphones are not far behind. And that is one of the biggest problems in differences in sound. So clearly Time has to be controlled, from my viewpoint, to precisions most people haven't thought of. Uh, I'm also suspecting that various nonlinearities, primarily those in which uh, time is modulated by signal, uh, transient modulation is, deals exactly with that issue. Uh, and I'm, my intention is to get all the products we can to have distortion under one part per million. Whereas I don't know where the limit is of human perception. It may not be that good, but in general it's not that hard if you want to make up your mind to, to get distortion in that region in almost any microphone and amplifier system and probably in the long run digital converter systems. Loudspeakers, I don't know. But the, the funny thing is that distortion in speakers isn't audible in the same way as long as it's not too high. Yeah, because the speakers seem to lack the means of changing time with signal uh, if they're used within reasonable boundaries. So anyway, the thing we want to do is to see how far can we go. Uh, you know, there seems to be a lot to be done and a surprising number of people are interested in this now. Uh, two years ago, look a lot, if you talk about this, people look, a lot, look at you like you're from Mars. Now I find, oh, maybe 50 people I found at the show who will say, well, yes, maybe there is something there, or I know there's something like that going on. It's uh, quite a change. So I think that uh, we have our work cut out for us in the next few decades to go through the next step of uh, creating a sound quality which is less of a caricature and more real in relation to reproducing the original experience.